What's up, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of Tesla Canadian Dad. Today, we are comparing the three biggest EV trucks on the market coming out in 2021 and 2022. The Tesla Cybertruck, the Ford F-150 Lightning, and the Rivian. Let's get started. All right, so all three of these are really impressive in their own way. However, one of them actually surprised me quite a bit, and it might not be the one you're thinking about. So let's get into some comparisons now. Now, all three of these have different models. So different price range, the starting point and the higher end models as well. The Cybertruck has three different versions. We're gonna compare the lower entry level with the other two entry levels. And we're gonna compare the high end third tier level, the tri-motor for the Cybertruck with the F1 top end and the Rivian Adventure, which is the higher end model. The Rivian only has two different versions. Now the Cybertruck obviously is the least traditional out of the three. I mean, look at it. It's it's pretty crazy. I still am shocked by the, the visual look of it, but it is a beast. It is a beast inside and out. Now it was announced on November 21st of 2019. And here's the mind boggling number here. You ready for it? over 1 million reservation for the Tesla Cybertruck. I mean, that's just insane. That's just crazy. If you intend to reserve one of these Cybertrucks at this time, it might take a while before you get your hands on it. Just saying, 1 million reservation. That is just crazy. All right, so next up is the F-150 Lightning. This was just announced in May, 2021. And it is a much more traditional pickup truck that uh, any F-150 current owners would love. It has all the features you would expect. On top of that, it's electric and can even power your house. That's right. So according to Ford, the higher end F-150 Lightning will include a power converter to be able to power your home for a few days. Now that's something that Tesla needs to bring to the Cybertruck. So even though this is the newest truck announced on our list here today, it is not the one with the least amount of reservation. That's right, in the first 48 hours of announcing this vehicle, the Ford F-150 tallied up 44.5 thousand reservation. Now that's pretty impressive. Now as June 1st, 2021, that number has now increased to over 70,000 reservation. Now the Rivian was actually the first EV truck announced out of these three back in 2017. It's also going to be the first one released in June of 2021. So if you're watching this, there's a good chance there's actually a Rivian on the road as we speak. Now out of the three, it is the one with the least amount of reservation, which isn't shocking as it's a brand new company as of the last report, 30,000 reservation. Now that's significantly less than the Cybertruck and even less than the brand new announced F-150. However, it is the most expensive of the three as we're about to discuss. Because this is a newer company, you are paying a premium price to help the company establish itself. So if you kind of think about it, the Tesla Model S is what the Rivian is at the moment right tesla had to charge a premium for these new evs to help establish themselves to help pay for future production of the now tesla mo 3s tesla mo y's and even the cybertruck is now made possible because of the premium price some people were willing to pay for the tesla model s and even the roadster so can you expect more affordable Rivians down the road? I hope so. If they're a success, I don't see why not. So Elon Musk always says that creating and making a single electric car isn't the hard part. The hard part is producing thousands upon thousands of vehicles and having all the material come in at the right time and then the cars being shipped out to the clients again at the right time. That is a challenge that Rivian has ahead of them. 
And again, it's uh, yet to be seen if they'll be successful at it. So because of this, they do have to charge a premium price at the moment. So let's talk about prices. Let's start with the Tesla Cybertruck. The Tesla Cybertruck will start at $39,900 and go all the way up to $69,900 for the tri-motor. Now the F-150 starts around the same price range at $39,974 and goes all the way up to a whopping $90,400. Now again, these are all American prices. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Rivian is the most expensive base model out of the three. And that one comes in at $67,500. And for the adventure, more expensive version, this goes up to $73,000. You do have the ability to upgrade the battery pack for both of these for an additional $10,000. So technically the more expensive Rivian can go up to $83,000. Now, all three of these machines are just beasts. When it comes to performance, they are just going to outperform any truck out there at the moment. Electronic vehicles have what we call instant torque that ICE vehicles cannot compete with. They just can't. I'm sorry, if you're still in denial, I'm sorry to say, EVs are the future. I'm a huge EV supporter. I am so glad that Tesla finally has competition, real competition in the EV world. And when it comes to performance, if you wanna to tow something, if you wanna cargo, it will not be an issue. What you're used to at the moment, you'll be able to do the same thing with your EV in a short amount of time, all three of these trucks will be able to go zero to 60 in less than 4.5 seconds. Will you need your truck to be able to do that? Who knows, but it's fun that it does. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. The reason you're on the fence potentially on should I buy an EV at this point in time? The reason that some of you might not be willing to jump in the EV world. Let's talk about the range for all three of these. Now, when it comes to the Cybertruck, right now, the Tesla Cybertruck is advertised at 250 plus miles of range for the base model and 500 plus miles of range, 500 plus miles of range for the tri-motor. Now let's talk about the 250 miles for a second because I actually don't think that's going to be the case when the Cybertruck finally ships out of the Texas Gigafactory in late 2021 spoiler about the release date. With the new 4860 battery cells that Tesla announced late last year, I am willing to bet my beard that the lower end Tesla Cybertruck will have a range of more than 300 miles by the time it ships late in 2021. My wife wouldn't be really happy if I actually ended up uh, having to shave this, so hopefully I'm right. Now, the F-150 is a little trickier when it comes to the range because they're actually advertising at a pretty low number for both of these. They're advertising at the starting range of 230 for the base model, and for the middle model and the top model, they are advertising at 300 miles of range. But here's the kicker. That's with a thousand pounds of cargo. So if you take away that cargo, that truck could have a range of 460 miles. 460 miles, that's nothing to laugh at. That's pretty impressive for Ford. Now Rivian is the one that actually is doing it a little bit differently. No matter which model you purchase, you have the ability to upgrade your battery pack to a larger one. The base pack starts at 300 miles of range versus if you'd like to upgrade either model you get, you have the ability to upgrade that for $10,000 for an additional 100 miles, which brings it up to 400 miles. So 300 miles or 400 miles for $10,000 more. I kind of like that. I like the ability to just pay just for the range increase and nothing else. Now you can actually start expecting seeing Rivians on the roads as early as summer of 2021. So the first shipment is supposed to go out in June of 2021 for their, their most expensive model, the Adventure. Now for their cheaper model, the Explorer, that is apparently going to start shipping out in early 
2022. Now, as far as Tesla, Elon has reassured people that it is still on track to ship in late 2021. This is Elon after all, even though they, he does deliver on his promises, it's usually not on time. Again, I'm a Tesla fan, huge Tesla fan. It's just everything takes a little bit longer eh, with Tesla. If you take a look at the current Tesla Model S Plaid, that was just again delayed by a few weeks. But again, it will come out. So the Cybertruck will come out. Will it be late 2021? I'm willing to bet that the first Cybertruck is released in early 2022. But hey, either way, it's coming. We're excited to see it on the road. It is definitely going to turn people's heads. Now, when it comes to the Ford F-150, that one is scheduled to be released in spring of 2022. So that's the one that's the furthest away. If it's something that you're interested in, let me know if you're willing to wait till spring 2022 for it. So which one would I go with? Well, before I tell you that, I'd like for you to go and hit that like button because it really helps us out here. We're a small channel and I do put a lot of work and time inside these videos. If you're still watching at this point, you're obviously enjoying the video. Hit the like button. Consider hitting the subscribe button. So if I was on a market for a truck and I'm a truck guy, I'm interested in a new truck, maybe I'm a traditional guy, I'm not likely to get a Tesla Cybertruck. I'm more leaning towards an F-150. I mean, this machine they just announced is a beast. It has everything that the F-150 ICE version has and more. Like I said, it can even power your house. The front trunk is the biggest front trunk I've ever seen out of any EVs out there. You can even fit two golf bags in there. I mean, that's a big selling point for me, finally playing golf again, so that feels good. It also has the most outlet I've ever seen on a vehicle. I mean, there is so many 120 volts outlets. There's even a 240 volt outlet in this truck. So if you're a traditional guy and are looking for a traditional truck, this is the one that you've been waiting for. This is the one I would recommend actually going and purchasing. Now you're like, whoa, Mike, this is a Tesla channel and you're telling you're not going to buy the Cybertruck? Again, when it comes to traditional truck people, I kind of see a lot of people going with this truck and I'm all about the future EV world. I love my Tesla and personally, for me, who loves attention and loves technology and loves software updates. Now, again, the Ford is promising software just as well, but again, Tesla has proven they do and they do it well. I would go with the Cybertruck. If I was in the market for a new truck, who knows, maybe I will actually reserve a Cybertruck one day. It definitely does have a look at me look. If you're a company that's actually wants people to look at them, the Cybertruck might be a really good option because it's going to turn heads 100%. So that's like free advertising on wheels. So maybe you are a truck person that needs a truck and you're like, hey, I want people to look at us. Look at us. Well, <laughs> Cybertruck screams look at me compared to the F-150, which is still a beautiful truck. And the Rivian, which is again, another beautiful truck, but they're more traditional. They don't stand out as much, obviously. I'm really happy about Ford releasing this new F-150, even Rivian competing. Competition is always important for consumers, but competition in the EV world, that's something that's been lacking for Tesla in a long, long time. Honestly, have they ever had a competitor? No, not really. So it's so nice to see Ford be so serious about releasing a legit machine for truck owners out there. So congratulations to Ford fans, kudos to Ford. I've been so impressed with what they've done with the F-150 that I've decided to make this video. I mean, I wasn't gonna make a comparison video because there's nothing for the Cybertruck to compare to. Now there is. So congrats Ford, looking forward to the competition. 
Obviously, I'm still, still a Tesla guy, still would buy a Cybertruck over an F-150. However, I wouldn't blame any of you if you end up putting a reservation on the F-150. If you do, let me know in the comments below. I'd be very interested in taking a spin. All right, so that's it for this episode. As always, this was a lot of work. Uh, if you're still watching, please subscribe. Come on, it doesn't cost you anything, helps us out. And I promise some more cool videos in the future as well. So what do you guys think? Cybertruck, Rubian, or the F-150 Lightning? Let me know in the comments below which one you're going to go with, if any. If you're a car guy and just watching because you're interested, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. It is a boiling down here with the lights. Hey guys, I'm playing golf again. Twice a week right now. Feels good to be outside.